Today on the Crazy Russians NCIX PC Lab, I have boxes. Actually, I have a system hiding behind the boxes featuring a number of the components that are here represented by the boxes that the components are no longer inside because they are in the system. So we have the Crosshair 5 formula, which is a SUSE's Republic of Gamers SLI Crossfire Ready motherboard that has full support for AMD Bulldozer FX. So we've got an FX8150 CPU in here cooled by the Corsair H100 using four fans and push-pull configuration for maximum static pressure and maximum airflow. We've also got a Radeon HD6970 DirectCU2 from ASUS. So the DirectCU2 cooler uses dual fans in order to provide better cooling than the reference design card. You can actually run not only one, but two of those cards in this system just by adding an additional card and upgrading the power supply, where the AX850 is more than enough for a single card solution. Just for comfort, you might want to go with something a little bit higher end if you go with a dual or even a triple. No, I don't think, yeah, this card does not support triple graphics because it uses a triple slot cooler on this particular motherboard, but you can still go with dual graphics and then you might want to go with um, an HX, what is it, HX 1050 these days? I think the HX 1000 is gone. Either way, let's have a look at the system. So the first thing you're going to see here is the AMD FX 8150 8 core processor. So here I'm going to show you what might become your favorite benchmark and that is Task Manager because it has eight threads, all of which are pinned at 100% because we are running Prime 95 small FFT in order to put the maximum amount of stress on the CPU to make sure it's stable before we start any overclocking because these systems will come pre-overclocked. This is actually going to be a special edition red painted system as you may or may not be able to tell at this point in time. I also want to show you one other cool thing about the Bulldozer FX CPU. I'm going to stop the small FFT test. Hopefully that doesn't bother Crazy Russian and it's not doing anything that matters. I don't know. Uh, so I'm going to set it to one torture test thread to run and you are going to see AMD Turbo. Hold on. There we go. So core clocks are up to 3.9 gigahertz. So that is using their turbo core technology in order to provide better single threaded performance when you're running a lightly threaded workload. So there you go. It works. Uh, what else do we have here? Yeah, let's open it up and have a look at the rest of the system config. I actually don't know how much these are going to cost yet. I don't know what the final clock speeds of the CPU are going to be yet. These are all sort of trivial details. What you need to know is that it is a beast machine and it looks great. So we've got the AX850 there. There's your triple slot capable of five simultaneous outputs, a, uh, ASUS Radeon 6970. And you can put an additional one in this slot right here. Actually, ooh, can you? Can you? Okay, apparently you can. I'm getting the nod from uh, Crazy Russian, so that's good. We've also got a crucial M4 SATA 3 SSD installed in the top bay and a three terabyte storage drive. That's a 128 gig, right? Yep, I'm getting the nod. We've got eight gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM, which can be upgraded to 16 gigs, should you so desire. We've got the H100, so you can clearly see the two stock Corsair fans here. And then we've also got two Cooler Master Red LED fans here, which gives you that little bit of LED lighting accent on the top. We've got the Corsair H100 right here, which you can actually adjust the fan speed on just by clicking the button. So there's your low, mid, and your high speed settings. Just you can see the uh, LED illumination around it. And the Crosshair 5 Formula motherboard makes a beautiful backdrop with its black overall look and red accents that go along with every other aspect of this system. Very, very sharp looking system. So thank you. For, oh yeah, we've got, hey, check that out. We've got a Blu-ray, uh, is that a Blu-ray burner? Nope, we've got a Blu-ray player DVD burner combo unit in the front to go with the ASUS and Corsair overall theme of this build. It is an ASUS Blu-ray drive, and I think that pretty much covers everything I wanted to say about this guy. I look forward to getting back to you guys with our overclocking results with the Bulldozer FX 8150. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.